So for me, I, I think ambition stems from the idea that life is a gift mm -hmm. and that um, you know, we're, we're born into this amazing human experience with all of this agency and energy and time and uh, wonderful things that our ancestors have enabled for us. And so the, the upswelling of desire to create things that continue that cycle for uh, the people that are around us and for the world and for uh, future generations. Mm -hmm. And that, that energy, that impulse um, is, is a pure uh, form that I feel of ambition. Okay. Mm. So are you ambitious? Yes. <laughs> I would consider myself ambitious in the sense of coming from a place of wanting uh, positive change in the world. Right. Um, and I think that it's healthy to want um, to take care of ourselves and to take care of our families and to take care of our communities. And I think that where we, um, where we get lost is when we start to fixate on money, power, uh, fall into temptations of greed and ego in ways that um, are both unnatural and destructive to ourselves as well as to those around us. Um, and that we assign these kind of external things as how we define ourselves and how we validate ourselves rather than having that sense of validation and that self-esteem uh, from within. Well, I think maybe my ambition is in part formed by the fact that I was just so privileged and lucky to grow up with amazing uh, parents in an amazing uh, loving family mm -hmm. um, in a small town in, in southern Illinois where I come from. Um, you know, we didn't have much in terms of material resources mm -hmm. and conventional ways that you might measure uh, such things, but we had um, a sense of safety and a sense of being well cared for. And, um, and so I think that, you know, as we have those baseline needs established, uh, it, it grows within us a sense of wanting to uh, look outward and, and give back and, um, and just contribute. You know, I think we all have gifts to bring to the world um, and so much of our economic system uh, wires us in ways that aren't necessarily in natural alignment with that, mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't make the impulse wrong. I think it, it's usually stemmed from fear, right. and you know, for me, I think you know, there's always those natural fear of criticism, fear of, of being alone, mm -hmm. fear of seeming crazy, fear of um, you know, people uh, being alienated. Right. Um, so, I think that those. You know, it's kind of like the, the lobsters in the pail, and one lobster tries to climb up, and the other lobsters kind of say, wait, 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 come back down. Yeah. I think that that's, um, that's a, a, somehow it's a natural tendency, I think, within us. Mm -hmm. um, but often that's born from our own insecurities. Right. You know, sometimes I see my brother do something, and I can feel this little impulse in me to kind of pull him back down. Yeah. Um, even though that's not healthy and that's not in service to him. Mm. And so I kind of sit with that and say, okay, well, how do I not do that to other people? Um, right. Because I know that, you know, when you do want to achieve something, a dream, a goal, an inspiration, um, that the best support is, is from other people mm -hmm. to say, you know what? Yeah, go do it. And if yeah. it works, great. And if it doesn't, that's great too. We're here for um, you. We're here for you. And what we recognize in you is this impulse uh, for good mm -hmm. and um, and that's you know just part of the human condition